Alrighty guys and gals, what's going on everybody? It's Biggie back here with you. Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. What be happening? There's your buddy. Why am I pimp walking? There we are. It's our troll hunter. This episode we're gonna go slay some happies. Mm -hmm. They're up to the north. There's an elite up there we have a quest for, but I don't think we're quite ready for it yet. Do, 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 do. Hope everybody's doing well. Sure do. Look at those lovely bluish eyes. What color would those be? I don't know. I, I'm a dude, so I'd call them blue. Anyway, this is where we're heading. Way up here, man. I think we'll pretty much finish everything else in this area. It depends on what follow-up we get. Still have a Mark of the Wild from last episode. Bag space, not too bad. Got some things to try to sell again. We've got a nice, uh, we got a blue mace on us and a pretty decent helm. Yeah, look at that thing. What's it look like? Oh, fuck. Damn it. <laughs> oh, no. Please tell me I can get up here. I can. That's kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting looking. What the hell am I doing? Got a bar on us. Yeah, it's not too bad. South Sea Lamp. It's an unusual name for a mace. But, uh, whatever. Let's see, when does this come out? I'm actually not sure when it comes out. I did an episode of uh, Fright Night for this Friday, which could be today. It might have been yesterday. I'm not sure when this is coming out. Pretty interesting episode. Made it work. That is a fun game. Resident Evil 4, the, the remake, is pretty fun. It's definitely... And I think I'm playing on, like, normal mode. I can't imagine playing that on like a higher difficulty because of the resources. But a lot there's a lot of things I didn't do in the beginning of that game. I wasn't picking up all of the like little treasures and stuff on the map and I was selling stuff too early. I would buy something and then sell it. Like I was just wasn't making good plays at all. And now I'm kind of hurting because they have like bare minimum resources to uh, fight like bosses and stuff. Yeah. Where's my hearth? Damn, I should have set it so we could hearth out of here. That's okay. Kind of hate letting this Mark of the Wild go to waste. Let me check this. We could go down and do the uh, the Zapped Giant stuff. We probably will end up doing that. It's might be some decent XP for us. Hold on. Oh, it's the chickens. Chickens are laying eggs. I don't know. That's a pretty unusual sound. I think that's what they're doing. I don't think I've ever heard them make that sound. Oh, the pet's unhappy. Um, I'm gonna 
give him an additional... I'm going to give him some spotted yellowtail when he's finished eating here. Eating, even. I worry about those chickens when it gets cold like it is. Shit. <laughs> we'll have three pieces, bro. You know, it's down in the 20s. The weather is just crazy. It went from, like, being... 80 during the day, you high 70s to 50s to uh, 20s and like a high of 50 something during the day. But, you know, that's what happens, right? Winter, I think the first day of winter is the 21st of uh, November, I think. I bought some towels off of Amazon. I bought six towels, and they, and I got I got them yesterday, and I opened the box, and there were six extra. They gave me twelve. So I looked at the order just to make sure I didn't actually order. They just gave me six free towels. Anyway, I opened up the towels, and they were about this big. Yeah, they're hand towels. Not what I need. I need like full size towels, man. Anyway, I sent them back. Amazon is, uh, it's hard to beat their return stuff. Depending on what it is, sometimes you can just leave it on your front porch. The guys will come get it. But there's a UPS store <coughs> uh, at the under, other end of town. I took it up there, returned it. So, like, no, it's no hassle, no question. But I looked at the thing again. It's, it's a little bit misleading. Because it's a super, super long description, and this is what fooled me. I thought it was too good of a price, really, but it goes through this long description that they're luxurious towels, they're great for, they're super absorbent, come in different colors, like all this stuff, and at the very end, it says hand towel in small print. <laughs> yeah. All right, slay some happies over here. Let's get a food buff happening. Gonna be losing. Uh... Uh, we're gonna be losing Mark of the Wild. That's okay. Let's see what abilities she has. Some of these freaks might try to heal. They should run away. I think she even used an ability there. This is a rogue feather. Let's see what she does. I know what the wind callers will do. They'll kind of like wrap you up in a tornado. Something. If you have the Alliance, I think there's an escort quest. There's like a dwarf you talk to. I think he's like back in here somewhere or something. And then there's an escort quest you can do. If you're all about an escort quest. It's not too bad. I think she will follow you. Which are the best kind of escort quests, in my opinion. So I noticed when I drove the car, like I took it to the gym and I took it all the way up to the UPS store and all the way back and they were, there was a, they were doing road work. So I was, I had to sit for a while. It was actually not overheating. Now it was also really cold outside. So the car cools from the bottom. I also had the heat on high, which will pull heat off of your engine, but I'm going to go back out there later today and I'm going to do a thorough test to see to see what's going on here. 
to see if that shit may be sealed. Because it would usually start to overheat uh, from that drive. Need a wing clip here. Shifted man, thank you so much. Just be thank you again for our beautiful, beautiful pole arm, Stone Raven. We picked this up from a chest, but we do have an upgraded bow we can get at level 50, which was also gifted. Okay, I got it. So the elite is back here. I don't think we're ready <laughs> for that yet. This is a slayer. Oh. We'll look out for Megadeths, Metallicas, and Panteras. Do it every time. I do it every time where we have to slay a, a slayer. Some people might be into anthraxes as well. I never was much into anthrax. I was damn sure into Pantera. Man, Pantera is... Dude, they are so fucking intense. <laughs> like, early Metallica... They were intense. What makes them so fucking intense um, is Vinny's double bass drum, but also, obviously, Phil Phil's voice. Phil and Salmo. Too bad that dude's such a douche. One of my favorite songs from them is a song called 13 Steps. It has this fucking killer, like, descending guitar riff and kick-ass drums. I don't really listen to Pantera anymore. You know, I'm, I mean, if I, I listen to it in the gym, I like stuff like that in the gym. But it's actually almost too much for me. But I used to, yeah, I used to listen to it. It's not something I would put on here while I'm like, you know, just tr chilling. <laughs> Pantera is not chill music. Well, the chillest song they probably have um, is actually a Black Sabbath song that they covered and it's a great fucking cover it's what is it called we sail through endless skies i can't actually remember the name of the song it's, it's, they did a great job daryl just a fucking phenomenal guitar player man insane And the bassist, I actually didn't know this, he actually wrote a lot of the, the songs for them, like the arrangements and all that. Yeah, they're, both of the brothers are dead now. Vinny passed. It was like last year, year before, something like that. It might have been this year, actually. They're buried beside each other. And his brother, Dimebag, Daryl, he was murdered. He was shot on stage by a fucking lunatic. Then I think he shot himself. I think is how it happened. A man knows how to get down, get down to fuck your town. Mike G has just ascended Misty Mountain and subscribed to the channel. Mike, if you see this, thank you so much for, for subscribing, man. I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you, brother.
Let's see if I can pull this. Will she come straight up the mountainside here? She will. Appreciate you, Mike. Hope you're enjoying some of the content. There's usually much more variety going on on the channel, but uh, I got sick with COVID like two months ago. I'm better now. Fuck. We're going to get back into it, though. Okay, I cannot take too many of those damn lightning bolts. Oh, she's healing. No, that's not a heal. Not a heal. Wind callers. This is the annoying thing that they do. Let's heal the boy up. And we need to heal ourselves up as well. We're going to put on a rune cloth bandage. And have some drink. Some dranky drink. And I'll have a dranky drink. I also bought some of these rice packets. They're really good. It's um, it's like chicken and broccoli flavored rice. Pretty decent. Pretty healthy. And I was looking at the label while I was in there making one of them. And what a, there's a half cup serving size, and then there's an entire packet serving size. What's strange is the half cup serving size is for plain rice, like a half a cup of uncooked, hard, plain rice. I'm just like, like, why in the hell would they put that on there? Like, who in the fuck is going to have a half a cup of dry rice? <laughs> Usually, food companies will do that so that it appears like it's even more healthy than it is if you use a serving size, right? The thing is, there's not a big difference. In fact, there's virtually no difference between the dry, uncooked rice <laughs> and the cooked rice. What is she doing? Oh, she's trying to cast on me? Here she comes. Here she comes again. Get her stunned there. I don't know. I just thought it was really weird that they did it. Maybe if it's... I, it might be like if you're going to use it in another recipe or something. I, I would... I don't know. A vibrant plume... Let's get, um, let's get down here. Actually, don't need that. What do we need? We need, um, we just need one more wind caller is all we need here. And if we want to take a chance, which I don't think I want to do, we can try to find what's her name. There's her, there's the wind caller here. Gonna drain her mana and interrupt her nonsense. Interrupt her now. Perfect. What? Okay, well it costs no mana for her to do that. Get her, Borfus. Get her, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Wait, what? Hold on, what's going on here? Horn of Hate Talon?
Oh, I see. So we have to farm this horn and then we use it to call the elite. So I I'm not down for that. Not at all. Not yet. I mean, I don't know. We maybe we come back and do this, but it's he's he's a level below us, so it would be three it's an elite that's three levels above him, two levels above us, just not a good it's a little bit too risky. Let's get out of here. The twinned colossals. Am I tracking minerals? I am. I haven't seen any. This is, uh, I think the dwarf is actually up here. There's like a, I think it's a dwarf. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, it's that thing. Okay, so that's one of the things, but there's also a dwarf somewhere up there. Kill a few things. It's about halfway there. No rest at XP. I think there's a rare mob that flies around here. It's, uh, I think it's like a dragon hawk thing. I feel like we're doing fairly well. Like, it. We're, we're pretty much in the home stretch. I mean, I think we, I feel like we've been in the home stretch for, for a minute. There he is. There's Rexar, champion of the horde. I didn't actually know he went off that way. I thought he stayed on the road here. Look at what he's doing. What the fuck? He just despawned right there. I've never seen that before. I've seen him walk. He walks between Desolus and here, but I've I've never seen that before. That was pretty weird. Da -da 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 -da. All right, we got something done. We need to finish this up. This is back up in the hinterlands. Wait, where are these things at? Oh, this is Fellwood. So we have a quest to get into Fellwood now. I think we're still a little bit too low level, though. <laughs> to, to be really safe in there. Maybe. Maybe that's something right there. Doesn't really describe what happens in the episode, though, does it? No, it doesn't, E. We're 25 minutes in. I had a short episode last time. Do I come down? We could do the Zapped Giants, maybe? I don't really want to do the elementals. The water elementals are such a pain in the ass. Uh, and our stings don't do not work on them. You 
Yeah, let's go check in with this freak, I guess. Hey, how's it going? What greeting are we going to get? If you're in retail, a goblin will often greet you. He'll just go, Makes sense! <laughs> Yo. Yo. Hurry back. Have a good one. What is this one? Glad I could help. Yeah. Keep it real. I don't want to do that one. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Let's do some giants. Oh, that's right. There's a ton of them up here as well. Fire fin snapper. You guys want to get some fire fin snipers? We do, E. Get a few. Okay, so one thing we're going to have to do... ...is turn down... We'll just do that. So it's not completely weird. Maybe they sell. Our fishing, yeah. Our f oh no, fishing, not quite maxed out. But we are fishing with Nat Pagel's Extreme Angler FC 5000. What do the FC stands for? I don't know. All kinds of fish here. We'll do some fishing until we uh, we come across a giant. Then we'll do that. There's one there. Maybe I should just pick this up since we're going to have to be dealing with them anyway. My fish got away, huh? Got away again, did it? Alright, so we need this thing. Well, we just do this. We track it. It'll be up here on the uh, where we need it. All right, I'm going to pick up. The th we're going to have to deal with these freaks anyway, so if we're going to be fighting them, we may as well have a quest for it. Hmm, interesting. Be good. All right. Good and freaky. Get my buff going while he's doing his boar stuff. Chewing on a water elemental. Just confirm they don't work. They don't work. It's a decent part of our damage because I usually apply it twice the sting yeah okay so what we do here do that first It's a pretty weird quest. He got he got pretty wrecked right there. All right, I'll put the bobble on. Should help.
He did fishing in this episode. I'm watching. Everybody loves a good fishing episode. can't remember the last time I went fishing. It would have been when I was a teenager. Working on a scallop boat. It might have even been before that. Just never got into it. Let's see if we can get this. I need to take advantage of the bobble here. The babble. Tried watching a couple horror movies on Halloween night. It was just kind of, you know, it's a spooky night or whatever. I got a recommendation from a good friend, and I use like this hack site to watch stuff. Like it's free. No, no, like the latest stuff that comes out, it's the quality is complete shit. So I usually have to wait like a month before the quality is okay or whatever. But there's a ton of movies on the site. Like, I still haven't seen Oppenheimer. Um, I haven't seen the ghosts of whatever. Uh, the new... Uh, the famous director, Scorsese, did. I'm, I want to see that. It's like the, the Moonflowers or some shit. I can't remember. But I got a recommendation for a movie called Honeydew, and I've... I've tried to watch it like three times, but for some reason, this happens with some of the movies, it won't queue up far enough to continually play. So it'll play for like 10 seconds and then it'll pause and it'll queue. And sometimes it just never plays again. So it's, but I've been kind of looking forward to seeing if that's any good. I like horror movies, but I, I'm not into slasher shit. It's just never done anything for me. I like movies like Hereditary. The Babadook was good. Things like that. The Witch. Witch is one of, uh, one of my favorite recent movies. I can't remember the actress in that. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's she's a little bit older now. She was really young in that movie. She also was in a series called... I think The Black Queen. It's about chess. It's based on a true story. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend it. I think her first name is Anna. She's been in a lot of stuff, but... She was in The Witch. It's like a psychological kind of horror movie in my opinion less is way more with horror movies it always freaks me out a little bit how they don't immediately turn into non-elites <laughs> Look at all these oily blackmouth, I guess. The bobble is already worn off, though. Alexa, read my notifications. Eric, there's one new notification. From Amazon Shopping. Your return was received, and a refund has been issued for $39.76. Awesome. Just got refunded my towels. Dropped them off this morning. Oh, I do have my bobble. Yeah, the bobble's still happening. So I shouldn't be missing fish, considering technically with the uh, the buffs we have on the pole, our fishing is 350-something, like 352. I 
I kind of like it when she says my name, my Echo Dot over here. I do. I've tried to flirt with her before. She's not really having it. I have her... I gave her the Australian accent. It currently is what she has there. I like it. All I really use her for is kitchen timers. If something's in the kitchen. I get notice when packages have been delivered. Occasionally, I'll check the temperature. But that's it. I used to try to play music with her, but... I don't know. I'm always here at my, on my desktop, so I just use Pandera with, uh, with my speakers. Yeah, these things suck. If you're melee class, these things absolutely suck. You get this reduced movement, and some of them have this knockback, I think they do on you. Oh, there's one there. So here's what we can do here. If I can't reach it, I'll just send the pet to get it. Can I actually reach it? I don't feel like going in the water that far, so we're going to do this. He just went out of range, I guess. Well, that was fucking weird. Okay. Hella distracted with these uh, nodes here, or fishing pools. I guess he walked off and despawned. I don't know what the pet was doing. Firefin Snapper. I wish the fishing speed was cut in half here. Because it seems to... You mostly get the ones that... It's way down here, right? Like right before it expires... It's like the longest cast time possible. Occasionally you'll get them quicker, but... Is that really all you have to complain about today, old man? <laughs> I can think of some other shit. Easy. Easy! Keep buying this intimidation to something. Maybe I do control C or shift C on it. Do I have shift C for anything? Oh, that's weird. Wait. Surely that's not right. Oh, I do have it for Shift C. I'm gonna remove those. I wonder what I used to have there. Maybe it, that's always been there. The hell if I know. Ooh, got Stone Scale Eel. I don't think we've ever fished one of these before. Make sure we're in the school here. Damn it! Damn it, Hell! we doing on time? 40 minutes. What if these will sell? 
says, yeah, it says they do sell. Oh, there's a mithril bound trunk. That's bound to have something good in it. No pun intended. Eh, not too bad. the lore is with the uh with the with the sea giants here if if there is, uh even is any there probably is does anybody know any sea giant lore or giant lore in general for warcraft I do, but I'm not typing out, like, fucking three paragraphs for you. Why don't you just look it up? Okay. Just take it easy, man. How many have we killed? I thought one of these did a knockback. It might be the sea sprays. Maybe it's these. I've not seen him do it yet, though. It's not the best use of uh, my trinket and uh, army of my ability at rapid fire. Not at all. Get three seconds out of it, I guess. Probably have to finish this up next episode. But let's heal the boy. This enchanted water, it's not too bad. What is it? Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean it's it's not the morning glory dew. And it's not even the uh, moonberry juice, but you know. Alright, we'll finish this up next episode. Super glad I didn't set the hearthstone. If you get up that way, it it kind of looks like you can. Yeah, it looks like we can get up here. I didn't actually know that. Nice, we didn't get dismounted there either. Yeah, so there's at least three ways up and down. Well, this would be unfortunate if we couldn't actually get up here. Yeah, we can get up here. Nice. All right, let's get our booty back to the inn. Do I... I am going to have to clear out the bags. I'll have to dump some of these. I don't need... Uh, I, j I really just need one stack of these, just five. I don't need three of them. So stupid they didn't... You can't stack these up. It's... It's just... 
the logic, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, you can sack the drinks, the baubles, the bandages, cloth, all kinds of shit. Not this. <laughs> I've wondered so much, like, what, what the, the reasoning was there. It must have had to do with them... I don't know, maybe trying to make it a little bit more challenging as far as your bag space or something? I'm gonna get me some lunch... I'm gonna go back. I gotta go back out and uh, I gotta get under the damn car. That's God. Well, I'm not looking forward to that. Let's start it up and let it run too. And I'm gonna let it sit there and just watch the temperature gauge and see what happens. Now, now that's actually a good test. I've also been wondering, because I rewired my radiator fan, or the fans, I have them hot-wired to a switch. I can manually cut them on and off. They used to be controlled by a relay. And they, it's a two-speed fan. There's a low speed and a high speed. And I, it's direct wired to 12 volts, which I assumed would give me the high speed all the time. But I'm actually not sure now if I'm actually getting the high speed which could be a factor in something. Okay, let's go sell here. Peace, friend. Hey, it's Backdoor Barb. What's going on, Backdoor Barb? Um, but we didn't actually have that much crap on us, did we? Walk with the Earth, Mother. You can call me Beard Fist. Man, he's unhappy again. Oh, we finished this one. Let's go turn this in. Forgot about this. I'm probably gonna get up to Thunder Bluff. Well met. Go in peace. Yeah, it's close. Do my auction house stuff. Um, I'll set the hearth here. And then we'll wrap this up. What brings you here? Ancestors watch over you. Alrighty, guys and gals. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Do appreciate it. Take care. Beer Fist and I will catch you in the next episode. Smell you later. Peace.